a passageway to an adjacent alleyway. There's a hollow in the ground that runs the width of the alleyway. The ground's set a little lower here. I'm not superstitious. I would accept a check for 13,000 euros with my left hand while standing under a ladder near a black cat on Friday the 13th, and I would laugh while doing it. is wait a little while. There, it's frozen over. Slippery. Perfectly smooth. I'll take some snow. Here we go, again. I've got the first part nailed. Let's see if I can tidy up the rest and find the Amphora's buyer. How unexpected, he escaped again and closed the gate behind him. All right, here we go. This time I need to find out which of the three gates in the courtyard and Nasir took. He won't go this way. I should focus on the route he's going to take. Ladies and gentlemen, which mystery door will Nina, the in all likelihood widow from Russia, pick today? Black Ash. Okay, I'll dust some ash onto the gate handles. smeared some ash on the gate handle. The ash on the gates should reveal where An Nasir went. He won't get away from me this time. I've smeared some ash on the gate handle. It's obvious. An Nasir smudged the ash on this handle. Shit. Again? Never mind. I've done this before.
How am I supposed to follow An Nasir's trail now? Someone swept the path outside this house very neatly, but a lot of snow has collected on the roof of the porch. A passageway to an adjacent alleyway. A passageway to an adjacent alleyway. No, and Nasir's too fat to get in there. A passageway to an adjacent alleyway. The canal's frozen over. It's played its part in this epic. I'll just clear the snow off this porch. Now An Nasir will leave footprints for me to follow when he crosses the bridge. I feel sorry for whoever's going to have to tidy it up tomorrow morning. It's played its part in this epic. The ground set. The snow will keep him from a clean getaway. Perfect. And Nasir ran off to the right, so he must have taken that alleyway. You're alive. My gold. Quickly. See, si, Capisce. My master keeps his word. Wait here. Give your master my thanks. Salam Alaikum. Peace be with you. Farewell. So the Amphora is in this house. I'm curious to see who lives here and has such an interest in ancient Egyptian artifacts. Master, what is so special about this Amphora? One need not know everything all at once, my pupil. I could not avoid glancing inside. It contains a scroll. Master, what do all these mysterious symbols mean? Why did the city watch arrest the Arab? Because of that amphora? Mamma mia, one day your curiosity is going to cost you your head. You're here because you're young and have two strong arms. You can pump the bellows and stoke the fire. But I'm also here to learn. So please, tell me what's written on the scroll. Otherwise, I may have to ask someone else. In the Chile! You ought to learn to hold your tongue. But all right. Youth brings questions, age brings answers. Are you familiar with Archimedes? Forgive me, master. Idiota! Why should I give you answers that have no meaning to you? Archimedes was a great Greek scholar. He wrote the solution to a mathematical problem on the scroll. What kind of mathematical problem? Do you really believe your mind would take the earth-shattering ramifications of what Archimedes discovered? Of course not. Where is the scroll now? Ah, an excellent idea. I'll tell an imbecile like you whose tongue is quicker than his feet. If the city guards tortured you, you'd sing like a canary. The scroll is safely stored here in the workshop. The work of Archimedes must be preserved for posterity at all costs. I must also prevent his knowledge from falling into the wrong hands. That's why I've hidden the scroll somewhere where it can be found centuries from now. Master, I, I do not wish to offend you, but you seem somewhat absent-minded of late. Perhaps you remember how you searched for the sketches you made for your last painting? You hit those carefully as well. I'm a genius. 
absent-mindedness comes with the territory. But because I'm a genius, I've also begun noting such things since my last incident. And I placed them in the care of my latest construction. Are you referring to the cylinder? See, si, it protects my writings from prying eyes, and I only need to remember a single hiding place, the cylinder. As you say, Master. Ah, here's the book I was looking for. Follow me next door. We still have a lot of work to do. See, si, Master Leonardo. Leonardo? I don't believe it. I'm in Leonardo da Vinci's workshop. This can only be a dream. Never mind. Leonardo obviously considers Archimedes' writings to be of great importance. I must find the cylinder. It holds the clue to the whereabouts of Archimedes' mathematical solution. Hmm. Could be some kind of... hoist? People shouldn't leave things standing about when I'm around, especially not useful inventions. The right arm of the scales. There's no weight on it, and it's not moving so much as an inch. There's probably a small catch inside this hole that keeps the scales locked in position. No idea what this construct is really for, but it looks like a huge set of scales. I can't see the other arm. I can't reach it. Wow, that's a... Hmm, what is it actually? A weird cart thing. No idea whether it really worked. Sadly, I don't have the time to find out. An empty canvas. I understand that every great painting started out like that. I'll leave the canvas on the easel. A bucket of red paint. Oh, I just know this ends in my threads covered in paint. It's an ancient jack. A bucket of red paint. About a dozen paintings wrapped in paper. Perhaps commissioned work that da Vinci did to earn a living. True, I am a bit of a magpie, but I'm not going to cram that in my pocket. That really is a lot of books. Max would be thrilled. Fascinating, but it would take forever to read them all. The Madonna Benoit. Back in the future, it's in the Hermitage in St. Petersburg. I went there once with my dad. Of course, that was in the past of the present, not in a dream of the past. What, steal a famous painting by Leonardo da Vinci? Hmm, it will be extremely valuable in my time, but I'm not sure this painting's strictly real. A master craftsman diploma belonging to Verrocchio, Leonardo da Vinci's teacher. I wonder if he was as smart as Leonardo was. After all, da Vinci must have learned some tricks somewhere. Stealing a master craftsman's diploma isn't going to improve my skills as a mechanic. An ornate walking stick. A chronicle of the Medici family with descriptions of all members. Cosimo the Elder, Piero the Gaudi, and others with weird titles. It's a little heavy, but I'll take it. No idea what that's supposed to be. It's best if I take a closer look at it. I'll take this whatchamajig with me. This contraption looks like a pair of tongs attached to some flint. When you squeeze the handle, you get sparks. 
from what I can decipher, this is correspondence between Da Vinci and his old teacher, Verrocchio. My maker's skills aren't up to a full translation, though. I don't think that personal correspondence between Da Vinci and his teacher Verrocchio is of much use to me, especially seeing as I can barely translate any of it. This amphora contains scrolls written by Archimedes, which survived the burning of the Library of Alexandria. Max was after these writings for some reason, before he was kidnapped. Maybe my strange dream will give me a way to find out where the writings are now and what they mean. Once empty, it's just a really old pot to put your flowers in. Da Vinci hid a clue to the whereabouts of its contents in a cylinder somewhere in this room. The box contains an oil lamp and a concave mirror. The oil lamp and the concave mirror are fixed firmly in the box. I won't be able to get them out without breaking them. I'm sure I can use it to lift the vehicle or tip it over, but what good will that do me right now? I'm not done here yet. Da Vinci told his pupil that the cylinder with a clue leading to the place where the writings were hidden is in this workshop. A uh, headlamp. The concave mirror inside the box focuses and magnifies the light from the oil lamp. Let's see if this hydraulic jack can lift the vehicle. Product tester Nina gives this hoist an A+. Chisels in varying sizes. I guess Da Vinci uses them for his stone masonry. Chisels in varying sizes. One of the chisels seems to fit the gap. If I can just... I've loosened the catch. No idea what this construct is really for, but it looks like a huge set of scales. There's a cylinder in that box up there. Fingers crossed it's the one Da Vinci secured his notes in, the clue to Archimedes' scroll. That must be the cylinder I'm looking for. Each wheel displays a number of letters. Looks like it spells out the names of cities. A little brass button. Verrocchio! These notes should tell me where I can find Archimedes' writings. Someone's at the door. Un momento, I'm coming. Signore de Medici, how can I help you? Please, call me Lorenzo, my friend. I've come to pick up the painting. Is it finished? Ma si! A masterpiece! I will go and get it right away! Here it is! I hope it is to your liking! It is magnificent! You are a true master! I thank you! May I accompany you for a while, Signore de' Medici? Lorenzo! Scusi, si capisce, Lorenzo. Prego! Who would not value the company of such a great artist? 
Join me at my villa in Greggi for a glass of wine. So that's how the great master earned his bread. The Madonna Benoit was commissioned by Lorenzo de' Medici. My subconscious is full of useful facts. Right. Back to it. I found Da Vinci's notes. Now I need to decipher them to find out where he hid Archimedes' scroll. Leonardo da Vinci's notes. Unfortunately, I can't decipher the cryptic symbols. Seems to be some kind of code or cipher. The walking stick with the curious carvings. Hmm. Am I mistaken, or are some of them similar to the cryptic symbols in the diary? A chronicle of the Medici family with descriptions of all members. Cosimo the Elder, Piero the Gaudi, and others with weird titles. I've painted it red. The carvings on the stick are barely visible under the red paint. Now I can see the symbols much better. They appear to be a kind of code table in which every letter is assigned a cryptic symbol. The canvas is now marked with the impressions from the walking stick. It appears to be a kind of code table in which every letter is assigned a cryptic symbol. I'll leave the canvas on the easel. This is a tough one, even with the code on the canvas. But if I've done it properly, then the final entry says, Greek safely concealed in the painting of the Magnificent. I guess Greek means Archimedes, or rather his scroll, and it's hidden in a painting that shows or belongs to the Magnificent. The Magnificent, eh? 